in the absence of the father it is the duty of the grown son to take charge of his mother and serve her to the best of his ability so that she will not feel separation from her husband and it is the duty of the husband to leave home as soon as there is a grown son to take charge of his wife and family affairs that is the vedic system of household life one should not remain continually implicated in household affairs up to the time of death he must leave family affairs and wife may be taken charge of by the by a grown son so of late uh, we are hearing many things about mobiles and uh, laptops and computers every other day we see that a new mobile is released and a new laptop is released it's like that so one of the newspapers have reported that uh, anybody who looks at the laptop screen continually for 3 to 4 hours 3 to 4 hours every day they develop a disease called computer syndrome disease new new words and new new diseases and um, one of the things that happens is because you are staring at the sc- you know the screen people are not blinking their eyes you know they are not blinking they continuously watch so because of that there is little water which is there in the eye you know eyes generally they are little watery that, that's like a lubricant that water is getting dried up and uh, there is a itchiness and uh, you know some kind of a pain and slowly the symptoms are increasing and uh, their vision is getting blurred and uh, you know like that there is a pain if you look at the screen or if you look at anything also it's paining the eyes are paining and uh, so they are saying in the whole world millions of people are under threat now because everybody and you know, obviously has to work on the laptops and computers and they are continuously looking at the screens without blinking so there is only one personality who can see without blinking parmatma it is an imitation so anyway uh, so the uh, there you know they are looking like that they are saying immediately there are 70 million people are under threat immediately later on we don't know how many will come under this so that's the and that's the one news article we uh, we read so they are suggesting 20 20 20 formula they are saying you work for 20 minutes and then take a break for 20 seconds and look at an object which is 20 feet away <laughs> and if that object is little green in nature greenery they saying that's best once in a while look at the greenery because in the ashram that facility is there <laughs> so so 20 20 20 formula they say when laptop came people thought that uh, that's it we got the breakthrough we can do so many things actually we can do so many things but then you know suddenly this computer vision disease and you know there is a rule now that we have to follow so then it went by then again some uh, you know one month before or maybe some two three weeks back one more news came that if anybody reads mobile in the night in the dark if they look, keep looking at the mobile in the dark for a longer period of time they can get temporary blindness i have seen some devotees also they read in the nights because they want to before sleeping they want to read krishna book read something and then so they will be you know sleeping means he is ready you know he switched off the lights everything is ready for sleeping and he is holding this gadget 
and is reading 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 right dangerous they are saying it can lead to temporary blindness recently they recognized there are two patients turned up in uk one of the uk hospitals and then they figured out the reason is that they are staring at the laptop screen in the darkness and then they said something more if you look at their uh, mobile screen just before sleeping it can disturb your sleep because there is a blue light which is emanating from the screen and the blue light interferes with your mechanism to sleep nicely so if you are staring at your mobile just before you sleep uh, there is an ample chance that you may not get sleep so you can continue to read probably <laughs> you know that's the that's one more thing that has come up then i'm going on going on going on and then one bomb recently came everybody was shocked what is that it's not connected to laptops and mobile it's connected to they said if you drink hot hot coffee you will get cancer the whole world was shocked because everybody cafe cafe day what are some you know so many uh, restaurants and coffee is a normal part of if you drink hot hot coffee be ready for cancer this, this is what they have said <laughs> so like that you know we can quote so many things i remember a decade back if i am in bangalore i was in bangalore for some work and if i have to call hyderabad i remember those days the system was we had to book a trunk call trunk call means uh, you know this generation may not know uh, you have to call up an one, one operator in the telephone exchange there is an operator i have to call him up and say i want to call hyderabad he will say okay wait and then uh, we have to sit next to the phone only phone instrument and then we have to wait and then at some point of time that fellow will call you back and say now line is available uh, you know the trunk call is available immediately talk you will get a ring you know the tone will come for hyderabad to call and then you have to immediately call and then in case you know you are a little goofed up the call goes and then again you have to call that man and say no book one more <laughs> you know this is gone so like that so from there coming to mobile is an unbelievable achievement it's an unbelievable achievement you just press a button tuck you know you are on you are on a call anywhere in the world it's like that actually mobile as apparently made a human being very powerful right very very powerful you can call any time you can do so many things but um, what they don't realize is anything that gives you pleasure or anything that gives you little comfort will always comes with a price it will always come with a price you have to pay the price laptop has made you powerful but be ready for computer vision syndrome and uh, mobile has made you very powerful be ready for sleepless nights and uh, uh, hmm? what is that and then temporary blindness and if you continue to work on lap, uh, mobile like that you may get perma- permanent blindness also <laughs> temporary will become permanent <laughs> Huh? so that's the so people are wanting to be powerful and they are chasing the technology to gain power but what actually happening is they are becoming more and more uh, vulnerable to diseases new new diseases and new new symptoms these were not existing and one decade back we didn't had any issues like this but now there are so many issues like that and this is what some research they have done and somebody has published and that is not been given a a big uh, propaganda to all this so all simply some way they'll mention something and pass it on what and all waiting 
by these laptops and mobiles what and all diseases and what and all will come on to us nobody knows nobody knows if we start discussing about what will happen if you keep the mobile and talk uh, that's you know one big paper you can write but these things are not available they will not they will hide it off because there are industries built on this technology so the point is we are in pursuit of technology to make ourselves very powerful but then what actually happening is we are becoming vulnerable actually we are becoming weak see this is called contradiction we see this contradictions everywhere in this metal world you are looking for power but you actually you are becoming weaker like propas times in, in 60s uh, you know propas used to go on walking and then uh, one see saw one uh, advertisement he says uh, become cool and it's about a advertisement of a a cigarette <laughs> and then propas say see he is uh, he is smoking fire and he wants to become cool <laughs> and he said this is contradiction see maya is like that it is uh, contradictory so coming back to this principle that if you are looking at happiness it will comes with a pain it's a package it's like a coin and the coin there is a head and there is a tail you are getting excited by the head wow so nice is wonderful but behind the head there is a tail also right so similarly in this world if there is a promise of happiness that's only a head and if you chase that head there is a tail also it will come slowly the tails will be visible <laughs> initially they are not visible so this is the situation we are living in a contradictory kind of a scenario we are hoping to achieve something but uh, we are getting something else this is maya right so uh, people used to be much more powerful personally they were not dependent on this uh, gadgets and laptops and all those things those days the perfection means as a person is very powerful now perfection means uh, hundreds of gadgets is handling tuk 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 all these things and in each gadget there are hundreds of apps now recently they told me there is one app wherein when is walking the app will record how many feet you are walking now why this is required because people are not walking nowadays <laughs> <laughs> they they are seated whole day they will be sitting and they will be staring at the screen very very unhealthy if you sit more than 20 minutes again this 20 formula <laughs> you will have back pain and you will have neck pain this is all no very normal actually all this pains so anyway so <laughs> with all these things is able to do his work and that also not sure how much he will be able to do the work you know he has become so weak but those days very very powerful look at kadama muni how powerful he is by his personal capacity he created a a floating city he created a floating city why is that because he is a yogi he has performed innumerable austerities and he has achieved those perfections so how powerful people are in kali yuga if you see anybody they are very very weak very weak hardly if he walks a little bit here and there and again some pain will come if you sit back pain if you walk leg pain you know like that everywhere pain <laughs> this is our capacity now it is now here is the principle enjoyment is weakness and austerity is power this is the principle this world is designed in such a way bhoga our attachment to enjoyment will make you weaker and weaker and weaker susceptible to diseases and weaknesses and everything 
and anybody who practices tapas austerities he will become more and more more and more powerful this is a principle in second canto krishna says i created this world by my tapas my by power of tapas and how did brahma create this world by tapas the whole world works on this principle this is the creation the principle behind this material world so if we want to remain powerful in our endeavors if we want to remain powerful in our uh, pursuits of advancement of krishna consciousness we have to practice tapas meticulously forget forget about krishna consciousness anything that you want to achieve in this world you need tapas only that will be rewarded that's the only power right so look at these examples that we have discussed they are running behind enjoyment but they are becoming weaker weaker and weaker they were, and they are getting into contradictions and they don't have any personal power but here kardham muni but then if kardham muni is so powerful then pitari prastite aranyam if he is so powerful then why did he go to aranyam right why he has gone to aranya very powerful no so he can do so many things he created one city a floating city <laughs> and he can do so many things also but instead of doing all that why did he go to aranyam pitari prastite aranyam matuhu prichikishya so why he has went means in order to increase his austerities and be away from the promise of enjoyment in household life be away, away from all this for small small pleasure imagine how much payment we are making little mobile and you know little message a little this symbol a little this symbol and you know, all those symbols are there no <laughs> for those little little pleasures imagine how much we are paying highest pleasure in this world is sexual life now imagine how much we have to pay the vedic civilization knows this the payment that we have to make they know this and that's why uh, uh, you know they say pitari prastite arannu he this i read no i have to go vedic civilization means after 50 be in household life for 25 years and then after 50 you know you have to reduce your attachment and the final reduction you know say after 70s take sanyas completely aloof from all these things become eligible purify yourself and go back to krishna the life of freedom that life of freedom if you want here then you will only see contradictions maya right it will cheat you it will say yes you have freedom here but actually it will entangle you with more and more diseases more and more rules now if you want to be healthy you have to follow 20 20 20 some rule right you want freedom but is maya is imposing imposing more and more restrictions here so this is vedic civilization so as part of that kardham muni has left the home he went to aranyam and uh, but he is not irresponsible he has handed over the mother's responsibility to his grown up son kapila he would have been 25 years by then so kapila is uh, matuhu priya chikirsha taking care of uh, the mother and uh, so but devotees who are practicing krishna consciousness they need not have to leave anything even if they are in household life only thing that they have to do is increase their attachment to the process of krishna consciousness propada has already built in a tremendous austerity into our lifestyle right the morning sadhana throughout the day absorption in our services sleeping early and then getting up for morning sadhana these are all very powerful 
austerities that Shri Prabhupada has given us. So all that we have to do is how much we are able to increase our adherence to these processes so that we can remain powerfully in Krishna consciousness. Right? So if devotees are fully practicing Krishna consciousness, then there is no problem. Serving Krishna is the ultimate principle and this is a part of Varnashrama Dharma and Varnashrama is meant to please the Supreme Lord and already devotees are pleasing the Supreme Lord. All that we have to do is just stick on to the process more sincerely so that we don't run into contradictions. Right? So, um, then the question comes for the devotees uh, what about these responsibilities with respect to the parents? Right? Pitari Matuhu Priyachikirsha. Here, Kapila, he is uh, in order to please his mother, in order to please his mother, he is spending a lot of time. And mother is also taking advantage of the, the son's uh, uh, position in order to understand what is the life how this material world works, how should I deal myself with this world, with everybody else. So is, she is understanding all those things. And that's how Kapila Muni preaches Sankhya philosophy, which we will see more and more as we go by. And uh, so, uh, what is the role of this Varnashrama? Right? So if you see the relationship of uh, a mother and father, or a relationship of a son with the mother or father, everything is degraded in this world today. There was a news in Hyderabad, you know, it talks about one incident that has happened between a father and a son. Now both father and son, they are watching a TV. Actually not a TV, they are watching um, a, a movie in the TV, played through a CD drive. Right? So they are watching the movie, and then one movie is over and uh, uh, then father wants to play one more movie A and son wants to play one more movie B. Father wants A and son B. And then obviously Kali Yuga quarrel. So it has led to a quarrel, you know? no A should be played and he says no B should be played. And the quarrel has increased. And it so happened that the son has become so angry that he killed his father. There was a killing. This is the situation. Both father and son, both are running behind the same pleasure. They have become competitors to each other in exploiting the resources, in enjoying this world. This is what it is. That's why Shastra is saying after 50 years, Chodo, this race you chodo, go, go away, it is advising. Because otherwise you will become competitor to the son. Son is setting up his house and this fellow will become a competitor. So, chodo, go, go away. Fifty years you can go away along with the wife and uh, go for Siddha Yatras. Vanaprastha. Do Tirtha Yatras for 25 years and develop detachment with your family members. And once you are ready, leave the wife with the grown-up son. By then, you know, you would have settled a little bit. <laughs> and then, you know, you hand over and you go, take sannyas, go away. Otherwise, there is no meaning to this life. Simply competing with your own sons and grandchildren and in, the, in enjoyment. So, very scientifically, the whole Varnashrama is designed in such a way that their social interactions will become very smooth. Varnashrama is simply a social tool to make our interactions very smooth, to make our material life stable, to allow us to have some time in order to you know, spend our time in Krishna consciousness. This is, this is the concept behind Varnashrama. How to make materially a pleasant situation so that we can focus on higher goals of life. Right? Nowadays you go and ask anybody, we don't have time, they'll say. Right? Everybody is busy. 
is an ever increasing work outside in ever increasing race people are just going on and on and on so in this ever increasing work which is on everybody's head where will you get time for all these things not possible right there are people who have no time but whereas varnashrama is designed in such a way the work is fixed brahmana knows what he has to do kshatriya knows what he has to do and the peaceful he has got time and use that time for higher purposes understand what who are you what is life what is this world so that's why it is good to keep your life simple so that you know okay this is what i have to do in order to earn my money to maintain my family rest of the time let me give for krishna this much i understand right and there is no competition here in this varnashrama social structure is very nice it is very useful for krishna consciousness but nowadays is not there so at least people can be directly become krishna conscious and keep their life simple that's why prabhu pa says uh, simple living and high thinking right high thinking it is what is happening is ulta high life he will be sitting on 100th floor and low class thinking right he will be thinking like animal which is going in the roads <laughs> that is the current scenario current civil so very dangerous maya is very powerful very dangerous and the modern uh, maya's power comes in the form of this uh, gadget they are trying to give you heaven in the hand but please remember that's only the head behind there is a tail what is that hell is there <laughs> if they are promising heaven behind the hell is there very dangerous devotees should be extremely careful to save themselves these inventions of uh, mobile and laptops and all this they are very powerful energies that's why you are getting so much power apparently but please understand they come with a heavy price they distract you from everything they dist- this is a distracting energy of the supreme the energy of maya that's technically called prakshepatmika shakti prakshepatmika shakti means it distracts you from one to another to another another go on distracting one whatsapp group to another whatsapp group to one more whatsapp group one more one more prabhu i have 50 groups that means you are a mad fellow <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in tv prabhu i have 100, 108 channels you are a crazy fellow <laughs> uh, recently they have done one uh, experiment uh, you know and um, based on the experiment the conclusion is very simple if somebody has more choices to make his happiness is less it seems his happiness is coming down if he has got so many choices to make and they said how is that because if you have cho- so many choices you are first of all in anxiety what to choose because there are 108 channels or some 50 60 groups that's first is anxiety and secondly after choosing he is not satisfied because he is thinking maybe something i am missing he is not satisfied so is actually happiness has come down look at this paradox of maya you want happiness and you created choice why people create varig- variegatedness variety is the mother of a- enjoyment so you created varieties for enjoyment now uh, ended up in less happiness that's the research nobody is having any happiness in this world they have too many choices no happiness this is the paradox so devotee should be very careful this is the distracting energy of the supreme lord we should be very careful not to get distracted that's why attention there's so much like madhupandar prabhu always talks about that right why that is that has been emphasized so much because that is what is missing in this world today everybody is distracted everybody is unhappy devotee should not be like that if you are sitting here to listen a class completely absorb yourself in this if i taken up some service to do put your full attention on it 
and if you are doing japa full attention on it you have to learn to focus in this distracting world of uh, varieties and choices our endeavor should be to focus and then you know uh, come to concentration on krishna fortunately even if we are distracted is all on krishna but then don't take it easily you know our quality of life will come down our happiness will come down our happiness in kirtan our happiness in service our happiness in japa it's all coming down because you are not concentrated or focused on in your services so let us again become like initial bhaktas you know beginning devotees where he is fully absorbed he is very excited because he wants to learn let us develop that bhamar jignasa how can i be absorbed how can i do more and more focusedly this is our life Devo- we have everything in place except uh, that you know we are distracted <laughs> so don't get distracted let us focus and perfect our lives uh, for the purpose of priya chikirshaya for the purpose of pleasing our spiritual master shri prabhupada any questions hari krishna bro prabhu as you said that uh, too many varieties uh, means no happiness so in spiritual world also prabhu there are two, uh, varieties are there too many varieties so how what is the consciousness there prabhu means how it is different means from the material varieties and spiritual varieties so the varieties there many are there in this world because that's that's how the world works bahu shaka hi anantascha so the the varieties are increasing bahu shaka going in various directions ananta unlimited varieties will come so now uh, what a devotee does is he sees the unity in this varieties he sees the unity in diversity uh if you can see like that then varieties are not an issue right and uh, if he is unable to do that he will get distracted by these varieties <clears throat> i'll give you one example uh so gross example say uh, cricket is there hmm previously we used to have test cricket and one day when i gave this example many times that means as soon as you hear cricket you have two branches test one day right it's so two varieties now they have added t20 any other maybe i'm missing something no okay one more branches come see branches have increased ananta then they will go on adding T20 also will not be happy to them. Then they'll put uh, T2 <laughs> or T22 or something like that. They'll say, <laughs> you know, just trying to squeeze out more varieties in the same stuff. That's what this world is. So now you have three branches, right? Right. So now, if you're getting attracted by these branches, then you're lost. You're lost in the waves of Maya. the waves will come these branches are also called waves you know there is a test cricket wave there is a one day wave you know t20 wave that will also go and something else will wave waves will come waves are trends are nothing but you know something <laughs> ready for more, more branches and more distraction that's all it is so a devotee what he does is in these varieties he tries to see krishna he can see krishna so anywhere he sees stavara jangame dekhe na dekhe anywhere he may see but he is only seeing krishna is aradhya devata he will be seeing if you are in that stage where you are not seeing stavara jangama moving or non moving things you are only seeing krishna if you are up to that level then it's okay any varieties may happen we are all happy we are only seeing how to engage these varieties in krishna service so there is a krishna nirbandhe krishna sambandha you are seeing now how do i see this uh, sambandha with krishna in cricket 
right? Test cricket, this cricket. Cricket is gambling, forbidden by Prabhupada, so that we can become Krishna conscious. See, Krishna has come. You, know, you can connect it to Bhagavatam philosophy. Krishna has to come in the line. So if you can see Krishna like that, then it is okay. But we are not in that. The object will take us away. It will take our consciousness away into more and more deeper ignorance. Right? That's why we should be very careful when this variety is. <laughs> you know, Yukta Vairagi is not easy. You have to do it under the guidance of the authorities. Very carefully. Sometimes they'll put a lot of restrictions. No Wi-Fi, no this thing, no that. Oh, why Prabhu? Oh, so many restrictions. <laughs> but actually, it is for our good only. More restrictions, more good. More freedom. Behind freedom comes uh, tail. <laughs> Don't expect any spiritual anticipations to be fulfilled here. You know, freedom, enjoyment, all those things. No jiva in this conditional life is entitled for his spiritual expectations. Not possible. So we are all in a diseased condition. Don't expect some healthy stuff to come to you. So we have to be very careful. Restriction. Anybody who follows more and more restrictions is more advanced. He is actually more free. And anybody who takes away all these things and wanting to become very free and happy and all that, he is entangled. He is having more tails. Monkey has one tail but he has got many tails. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, so we should be very careful. Don't be very loose. Till we reach to that platform where you can perceive only Krishna everywhere. That is love. Till we reach love, we will not be able to this thing. So you understood. An advanced devotee, he can easily, his consciousness is so evolved, he only perceive Krishna everywhere. And that is not, and that's okay. And with that practice, once he has become perfect, then he is promoted to the spiritual world, where he is again sees oh, so many varieties which are naturally connected to Krishna, and that's it, he lives a normal life. Yeah, one more. The same point what you mentioned, Prabhu, I many times heard from Prabhupada, it goes like this, how much you control yourself, that much you are progressed. Mm -hmm. This is the statement of Prabhupada. Yeah. How so. much you are controlled yourself. And how much you are self-disciplined. You can discipline yourself. That is the progress. Actually, if you see, we are all the devotees who are surrendered to Prabhupada in the mission. They are all uh, highly disciplined and highly controlled. Already, they are on the platform. They are in the platform of discipline and control. But what is required for us is little fine tunings here and there. You know, some little, little rules, little, little fine tunings if we can do, uh, we can derive the benefit of that control and discipline. But otherwise, already devotees are on the platform of such wonderful austerity. All that they need to do is, you know, follow a little more, some fine tuning here and there. That's it. They are they're nicely situated. And the devotees who are practicing in the, from the material world, uh, they should ensure that uh, they increase their austerities. And the biggest austerities, you come for Mangala Arati, chant 16 rounds nicely, and eat only Krishna Prasada. This is the, this is what? If we don't do that, we will end up with many tales. That's all. Right? So, Bhagavatam has given a way to uproot all these miseries. Vastavam vastu shivadam tapatraya unmulanam. It unmulanam means from the root it will tuck, it will take away all the miseries. Tapatraya means all the miseries. So, if you want to get rid of all the miseries, then uh, vastavam vastu, you have to see the reality of this world and become very austere and practice what Shri Prabhupada has given nicely. It's an escape route that Shri Prabhupada has given. So you want to take advantage, this is the only opportunity. Otherwise, you will end up with many, many tales and will become an interesting species. 
you know <laughs> if somebody is not krishna conscious you will become an interesting species one of the 84 lakhs right so uh, so that's the danger that is waiting in, you know in this world we have to be very careful next shri prabhupada ki jai shrimad bhagavatam ki jai